Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Adobe Live for the third day of the photography stream. Hey! <laughs> Guess what's missing? Me. Uh, this is not Nico. This is not Nico. Oh man, let me see. Are you sure? No. Eh. Kinda. Sort of. We, I get that same look on my face sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us. We will be live for two hours with Nicole. How are Yay. you today? Doing good? I'm doing good. Yes. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, great, great. And uh, excited because you will uh, take a portrait today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sure will. Ah, and we have the model. Hi. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, we'll be uh, <clears throat> in the studio space just in a few minutes. Yes. Uh, thanks for watching. Let us know where you're from. Uh, hey, thanks, Simon. Kathleen. Yay. Kathleen, good to see you. Hey, Jimmy Jap. Uh, we will... Where am I? I'm here right now, but I'm from Portland, Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, we're live from right San Francisco. Now. <laughs> and there will be some boop, yeah. Don't worry. Oh. Always. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. We will boop. Uh, maybe you can... Sh uh, do you see my screen now, Jason? Oh, your screen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Oh man, sorry, I just yeah. got excited. What I happened? might, <laughs> if there's an extra sandwich left, I might want to get a shot with Lauren, like. Oh, that, we have plenty of Okay, sandwich. cool. <laughs> okay. Sorry, so, got so excited. Now we have a, a new concept going. I know, right? Just yeah. The ideas are flowing, man. I ate like a full breakfast this morning. Like I actually went and ate breakfast. I haven't done oh. that the last couple of days. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I think food helps the brain work. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, clear-headed, like ready to kill it today. So. Awesome. Yeah. So this is your website. Yeah, please uh, check her website if you want to discover her work. Yeah. We won't cover everything today because we did it already on day one and day two. We re-invite you to, to watch the replays on the first day. They're ah, and the fun. replay of say, YouTube finally processed the video. I saw. It took 48 hours. Oh, dude, I totally watched some of <laughs> my ah. replays or whatever. It was great. I wasn't nearly as, like, embarrassed of myself as I thought I would be. <laughs> so. Oh, no, no. No, you were great. <laughs> I'm just never on video, so it's crazy. So on the first day, you took a picture of a red car with uh, the mm -hmm. rainbow flag. Yeah, we did, like, a conceptual yeah. little still life. On the second day, uh, playing with the bottles and uh, pouring some, uh, some water inside. <laughs> yeah. Totally. And today it will be a portrait, so <clears throat> maybe I can jump to the people section. And Eliza, if you don't know her yeah, style, ladies. yeah, it's very playful, very colorful, <laughs> always a little touch of, uh, of fun, you know. Right, got to have little details yeah, in there. Yeah, always your details. And uh, yeah, you will see it live for the... Oh, hi. Hey. Scooch in here, here hot yeah. stuff. Um, is she in the... Yeah, there, this is my one of my closest friends, Lauren. She's going to model for me today. Hello. She's living over in Oakland. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this and then go hang out afterwards. So. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Sounds like a good plan. Right? Yeah. Totally. Take a picture and hang out. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, plan. I mean, if my life could go like that every day, I'd be really into it. So. Uh, yeah, so you have really like crazy pictures here. Yeah. Those whole four, those were a set for Southwest uh, Airlines magazine, their oh. in-flight magazine. It was a really fun feature that we got to do. Build some cool sets. Oh, well, nice shoes. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Crazy like today, nights. we're gonna we're gonna kind of do sort of my my favorite lighting setup for studio portraits. Um, but rather than you know, most of my work's very colorful, and I always shot on those colorful seamlesses. Um, today, we're just gonna go with a nice white backdrop. Um, we're okay. gonna let the colors on Lauren sort of be the colorful part of the portrait, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just a little easier to kind of handle in okay. a small amount of time. So, awesome. Yeah. Do you want to jump to the studio? Because you told me that you have a mm -hmm. more stuff to prepare, to. right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> we'll jump to the studio. Get the light styled in. We'll say hi to Andrew. Cool. Okay, let's go. Party. Yay. Let's do cute. the party. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, yeah, Where's so it's been table? a little crazy. Normally, there's like more space or like less stuff, um, but we are making it work. And yes, I'll tell so you what, I've... maybe we can talk about the setup you did this time because I see it's completely different in terms of light. Yeah, so absolutely. So there is this light. So this is um, what we call a beauty dish. It's a light modifier. It is. I mean, it, it kind of does what it says it does. It just, it gives a really beautiful quality of light, um, especially when you do it, you know, kind of straight onto your subject like this. It almost completely eliminates shadows. Um, so it's really great for photographing women or beauty shots, because um, you sort of just get this lovely, flawless looking skin, which is always great when you go into retouching, you know, less to, less to work on or whatever. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna play around with this. I have um, a diffusion sock that we might add onto it, which will sort of soften the light up okay. a little bit if, if I find that like the shadows um, that we do get are a little harsh. bit too crisp or harsh. Okay. Uh, um, and then, all right, so we've got a beauty dish here, and then we've got these two other lights here on either side, uh, which, why thank you, Vanna, <laughs> um, uh, which are gonna act as sort of our rim light, our edge light. Oh, okay. So ideally it's just gonna give a really beautiful highlight on like either side of sort of Lauren's face, <laughs> her hair, that type of a thing. And it, for me, it just, it kind of helps, I don't know, just give like a more three-dimensional effect to, to portraits or whatever. Instead of them being so flat, it kind of helps make them pop out more. Um, get this bad boy out of the way. I think we actually have like, some room. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, oh, coming in with a hot mic. Hot mic. You got that? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You found us some space. Found a sweet spot. Yeah. Okay. okay. Awesome. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. Any sound effects again? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if we could kill the overhead lights again, and I'll just make sure we got all the modeling lights on so we can really see what the light's doing in the portrait. Hang tight with me, team. We are just getting our... Well, actually, no, we'll hold on to that for a second. So this is... Where's the camera at again? It's over here. Um, kind of went over this the other day, but this is the Profoto Air Remote. It's what I attached to the horseshoe on my camera, which activates all the lights. Um, and these are really nice nowadays because you can actually adjust the power um, from your camera of the, the lamp head, so I like it. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna meter our light. Um, if you've been watching the last couple of days with the still life shoots, I've been metering the light, but it's been pretty simple because I've usually had like one light and a fill card up or something. Um, obviously we've got three lights going today, so uh, we really wanna find like this perfect ratio between all three of the lights. Um, so first thing first, I'm gonna kill our two edge lights. We're just gonna focus on our key light for right now. Oops. And once we get that dialed in, we'll be able to add in our additional light and make everything gorgeous. So Lauren, if you wouldn't mind, um, I don't know, let's see. Oh yeah, you guys can see I kind of put like a T on the floor made out of some beautiful gaff tape. So that's Lauren's like front and center there for the light. I think that looks pretty darn good. Um, does this feel like it's kind of hitting you right kind of at the forehead between the eyes? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Like if you were, yeah, like this little boop, one yeah. of those? Okay, perfect. That was a long boop. That was pretty, <laughs> that's that's long that's pretty <laughs> impressive, you guys. <laughs> that was the machine that goes. Right? Yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to take a reading, like right sort of center of her face. So let's see where are you at. So that's reading, that light is wicked, wicked bright. It's reading that... It says 22 there, but it's actually reading up to an F32, which I don't even think my camera goes that high or my <laughs> lens does. So, uh, so we're going to dial it down. Um, again, I can adjust the power from this little bebopper right here. So we're going to go down like two full stops. See where that leaves us. Let's see, that's still at about an F22. So, I mean, we are pretty close to the light source, so I can kind of see why we're getting that. So another two stops. What I'm looking for is about like an F11 or so. That's at an F8, so we're gonna go one stop and we should be good. I didn't do anything, you guys. There we go. I know, right? Perfect, so we've got like a perfect F11 reading there on our light meter. Um, that works for me. So I'm gonna set, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my camera at those settings. Uh, so we'll start there down to an 11, so I'm at shooting at uh, 160th of a second. 
uh, ISO 125 and an F11 on my trusty Canon 5D Mark III with the 24 to 70 millimeter L lens. See, look at him remembering all the questions people had. So, <laughs> like, let me answer them. Um, and, oh, I'm wearing a hat. That's going to be hard to shoot with, but Okay, so we've got our camera settings. Let's see what that looks like just with the, oops, the beauty dish there as I unplug my camera from my computer. I do have a little safety thing on here so I don't unplug my camera from my computer. If I would have been using that, that wouldn't happen, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's make sure everything's loaded in there. I'll set that to none at the moment. All right. Hi. Hi. You're cute. Oh, wait. Okay, so that's happening. All right. Oh, you're so adorable. Did that even fire? Nothing it happened. didn't fire, guys. You want to know why? I didn't put that on my camera. Oh. How amazing. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Are you don't press the button at the same time? Right? Then just boop, boop, boop. <laughs> That takes some impressive uh, business right there. So, yeah. So, the, we're just testing the light. So, you're just going to be adorable. Do you see her computer, Jason? Yep. Hold on a second. Okay, awesome. All right. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. Let me undo me filters there. Oh, man. Ooh. So as you can tell, dark. that's so dark. And if anybody's looked at my work, that is like the opposite of where I roll. So I guess we're going to bump up. Let's see. Let's go up to what power level are we at here? So it's written at a 7.2 right now. We're going to go up to an 8.2. Still think this is going to be too dark. I, I'm just going to blast you with light today. I think is what's going to happen. Do, do, do. All right, so we're getting a, a little bit brighter, but my goal here is I want to get enough light back on that white backdrop so it's not reading so gray. Okay. So, you, you know, you want it to be, and actually, I might throw another light up if I'm feeling crazy. We'll, we'll see how sassy I feel. All right, so now let's see. We're going to go up to 9.5. Uh, these lights max out at 10. And you can kind of hear them if they're, I think like during lead and wage shoot, you could yeah. like hear that like electricity like firing through. That always makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, things are gonna set on fire. And just drop your arms down to your side for me. Perfect, cute. Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth and kind of let your jaw relax. Beautiful. Chin up just a little bit. Gorgeous. You're so cute. Okay, so I'm liking how bright it's getting right now. Um, but obviously it's a little bit hot, so I'm going to throw a sock on that beauty dish. Oh. If I can remember where I put them. <clears throat> yes. Um, and so this is going to cut the power of the light just a little bit. Um, uh, in the box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to cut the power, um, but it's also going to diffuse the light some. So you can kind of see right in the middle of her face, it's like especially bright. So this is going to just kind of dull that down a little bit so we're not going berserker and getting a bunch of hot spots. Whoa, that is bright looking up there. So I haven't changed any of my settings. We just added the sock. We're going to see what that looks like now. Um, and one fun thing too for any studio shooters um, that I kind of enjoy with these strobe lights, if you've got a good modeling bulb in them, which is the light that we have on right now, so you can kind of see what the light's doing without the strobes popping off constantly. Um, I like to shoot portraits in studio with the modeling light on because it actually, it, you know, it dilates people's pupils. So when you're shooting a portrait, you just get like really nice, deep, oh, yeah. big pupils and like a little bit more color in the iris, which, I mean, you can always, you know, fix that up in Photoshop and all, but why not get it in camera Aww. if you can? Totally. Whew, you're doing great, Lauren. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> you're welcome. Weird. Okay, so it got brighter or... Oh, you moved. Did I move? Aha. Take even just a tiny little step. There we go. Yeah. Way, way to go, Lauren. Moving around on me. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, alright. I like that quality of light, but obviously it's a little bright. We've got some blowouts happening. Um, so I'm at an F11. I'm going to go down to F13 which I'm into because I like some sharpness in my portraits. Oh, you're just so beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. You're welcome. <laughs> Cute. All right, so I'm gonna 
check our focus Whoa. here. Sorry, Lauren. I know ah. I should have warned you that there's going to be a lot of that going on. It's a lot of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice and sharp now, though, so I love that. I'm at a 9.5. We're going to just go down about a half a stop to power 9 on this Pro Photo head. Get it all perfect. <clears throat> Cute. Aww. Okay, I like where that key light is uh, is looking. I like where it's looking. I like <laughs> what it's looking like. Okay. Ooh, that's a heavy apple box right there. Yeah, there's one which is a, I don't <laughs> know. Know, like pressure treated wood or something. Okay. So now that we've got that, you guys, we are going to throw on our edge lights. So right now these are set at the power of seven. Which is. Um, so, Which is quite high, right? Seven, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. it's pretty bright. Um, what I'm kind of, I mean, well, we're going to go through this, but what I'm kind of looking for is for these lights to hit a little bit hotter than the, the key light, uh, just to give a nice, okay. a super nice highlight. Um, so whatever, let me throw some models on. There we go. Um, so yeah, we'll start at seven. We'll more than likely go up from there. But it's always fun to kind of play around and see... I don't know, it's it's always interesting when you see like what happens to light when you start messing with it. Because yeah. there's so many different ways you can you can play around. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get back a little bit further. Oh geez. What's this? Oh, and just so everybody knows, uh, Lauren's from North Dakota and I'm from South Dakota. Hi Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Hi Julie! <laughs> Hi Leanne! Um, so there's a good possibility you're gonna hear some South Dakota accents coming out at oh, some yeah. point here. Um, I'm just preparing everybody. You, be you betcha. <laughs> you betcha. Oh my god, I already love how this is looking through my camera. It's not always how it looks uh, once you fire those strobes, but we're gonna find out. Ooh, okay. Never mind, I'm getting stoked on this. Uh, so, let's see. I can't tell. Uh, Michael is. Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing on this monitor. No, no, the monitor is uh, burnt. It's just burnt. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm like, because this, this looks nice, this. right? No, okay. This is. Um, so as you guys can see, like we've got these beautiful highlights on her shoulders oh, yeah. and nice. arms now. Um, getting a little highlights on the hair, which is super fresh. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna set my camera down, not on my computer. Um, let's see. We're gonna play around for a second, because we've got some time. We're doing portraits. Um, I'm going to throw some grids onto these uh, seven inch reflectors. Someone's asking about the lights, or we're using a pro photo. Which one is These the are, we're, yeah, they're yeah. D1s and D2s. D1s and D2, pro photo. Pretty much the same thing, they're just, uh, one's newer than the other. Uh, all right, so, I guess we'll kind of oh, walk grids. through this. Grids, um, so team, what I have here is a grid set. I can't remember, oh, we kind of went through this on Tuesday, mm. I think. Um, but yeah, you can see them there, called like honeycomb grids. You essentially pop one of these into a reflector like so in there and you can kind of see I mean if you're paying attention like the light on Lauren's shoulder it got kind of dialed in a little bit and it softened up a little bit um so there's varying degrees on these grid sets like that one's hella fine Where? not quite hella fine <laughs> <laughs> getting a little bit bigger up to the 40 degree grid um I think I like the 40 degree I don't want to get it too spotty on her but I just want to be able to control that light a little bit more um so I need two of the Alright. Thank you to the wonderful people at Sammy's for renting us all this lovely gear. It's in great shape. I can always appreciate that. <laughs> Product placement! <Woo! laughs> Shout outs! <laughs> Alright. Ooh. It's a little easier on the eyes too when you put those grids in there. Yeah. All right, so without changing any of my light settings, we're gonna shoot her again and kind of see what happens. Um, and just so you all know, like when I'm doing my lighting tests like this, I'm always having my subject like shoulder square to camera, all that, just okay. so I can see exactly where the light's falling. And can you repeat the name of uh, the extension for? Of uh, the modifier? Yeah. It's a beauty dish. Um, and the one we're using, they come in both silver and in white. This is a white one. A little softer light. Um, the silver one makes the light a little bit more specular and kind of contrasty. Uh, yeah, and then we put a sock on it just to diffuse it, cut it down a little bit. All right, little Miss Thing. Hi. Can you just like a good old-fashioned arm cross? Yes. 
And lean, kind of lean from the waist towards camera. Perfect. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! God, you're like the winningest winner that I've ever met. I look like um, a businesswoman. You do look like a businesswoman. <laughs> you are a businesswoman. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can kind of see if you look, kind of the highlights on her arms mm. and uh, her hair there. You know, are just they've just been cut down just a little bit. Now I think I'm gonna raise those edge lights just a little bit because I want to get some of that highlight more on the top of her head. Um, Normally, if I had more time or more space, I would throw a light from behind the backdrop, um, kind of on a little boom arm as, as a hair light, to oh. really get that perfect little like glow like around her head. Halo. But a little halo, a little Beyonce, a little Beyonce halo. Beyonce halo. halo. Um, but we're working with what we got. Sorry, it's gonna go up. I don't know. It's probably four inches or so, or six <laughs> centimeters. <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get better at that. I used to know all those conversions, but you get older, you forget stuff, you know. Okay, so let's kind of go for that same type of pose again. And lean from the waist. Yep, just a little bit. Ah, beautiful. All right, we're getting there. Oh, you can see on uh, the right side of her how that light went up a little bit. I like that. I'm going to raise the left just a hair. I might not even raise it, I'm just going to angle it up a little bit. Like so. I see, and you can see in the camera when I'm moving the light, you can see that modeling light kind of hit her lever, all that. So I'm really just trying to grab just the edge of her, just like that, almost shooting past her, but just making sure that light kind of grabs right onto her. Let me adjust this too. Oh my god, I'm so excited about portraits, Michael. This is like, <laughs> I don't know, this is just where my brain lives all the time. Your so. favorite. Get crazy with it. Okay, those look great. So we're gonna uh, let's shoot that one since I adjusted them, and then we're gonna throw one more thing into the mix. Oh my god, you're like the sassiest babe in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I know you do. Oh, so cute. Okay, God, doesn't her hair look amazing, you guys? My hair does. Look it does amazing. look amazing. God. Oh yes, loving it. Okay, I am really pleased with how that light is looking. Um. Now, before we actually get into full photo shoot, I'm going to have my wonderful assistant, Michael. Uh, he looks like he wants to do something. So, I know you're like, give that to me. <laughs> Hold it up here. <laughs> just kidding. So I'm going to kind of, sh <laughs> I'm going to kind of have you this? stand. Yeah, you're kind of bouncing that light That's just right. as a nice fill light to kind of light up underneath and get rid of some of those shadows. Um. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what theme song is that? I don't even know. That should be the... I don't need <laughs> No, I think it's Full House, actually. Is it? Okay, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. All right, a tiny bit lower on the reflector. Perfect. Cute. I think it's the very end of the Full House theme. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been two songs. I <laughs> lied. All right, so let's try... I'm wondering, maybe kind of hold it like... Yeah, because you can much, see no. the, the modeling light kind of bouncing some light yeah. there under her arms. Yeah. Just like a little right there. Let's kind of hold that perfect. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goofball. <laughs> and Lauren Hi. thinks so too. <laughs> awesome. But you can see the difference, team, between that shot. It's pretty dark under her arms there. Ah. And we got a nice fill in with the, with the reflector. Nice. Um, so normally, I, like I said, I, you know, if we're like in a, in a bigger space and we had more time, I would take one of those big soft boxes. I'd probably, I'd probably be about seven or eight feet away from Lauren. Um, and then I'd put a soft box down here to fill in instead of a reflector. But hey, any port in a storm, we're making this work. Yeah. yeah. And I'd also throw a hair light and probably a backdrop light. But <laughs> we're doing what we can there with what we got. So. I am loving this. That jumper is adorable. Thank you. Um, cool. Think you can handle being the reflector holder? Yeah. While we do these shoots? Okay, cool. So, before we start shooting though, I want to do a couple of little things. Um, normally I work with like stylists, wardrobe stylists, hair and makeup. Luckily Lauren is just naturally beautiful and knows how to do her own hair and stuff. So we're just going to kind of fix it. Um, for portraits, especially with women, like 
we sometimes we tend to get like our hair like draping over our neck and then it'll stick to it and it's like the hardest thing at least for me to like photoshop out i hate doing hair work um so i'm always very aware when i'm shooting and try to just try to keep hair where i want it to be so it's just less work for me um in post and Akash is asking if you are both friends, so yeah. Yes. I think so. <laughs> We've been friends yeah. for a while. Long time. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be great for our friendship memory bank. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'll make a scrapbook. My god, yeah you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, and then I also want to fix her bangs, because I don't like little hair holes, as we call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've called you a hair hole before, mm -hmm. haven't I? <laughs> You've called me words. Damn it, do you have a comb? Did you bring one in here with you? Not in here, it's across oh. the hall. Whatever. Oh wait, no, I have one in my purse. Yes! Check you it got out. it really quick, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Oh, just oh. a little comb oh. so we can just kind of brush, brush it a little bit. Um, again, the more stuff we can take care of in camera, it just makes for an easier life afterwards. Oh, yeah. you, you saw my great masking yeah. skills. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what's this? <laughs> I'm learning. It's, I know what I'm doing. It's just on the spot sometimes. It's just like, what am I doing? <laughs> Why? But, you know. So here you're taking you a portrait of a friend. So uh, how do you work with someone that you never met? Yet? Like the first time you met? I mean, honestly, kind of the same way. Okay. It's To me, it's really important, especially, you know, portrait shoots when you're dealing with... Um, of course, it's like a oh my God. switch blade. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Great for bangs. Oh, great for bangs. Great for bangs, guys. And yeah, guys and, and, and gals. And guys and gals. There's dudes with bangs somewhere. <laughs> Cute. All right, a couple little longies, but we'll get rid of those in the post. All right. Um, so yeah, like when I'm shooting like editorial portraits and stuff like that, um, you know, you're usually on a pretty tight time frame. You know, normally you've got people yeah. for. 20 minutes, maybe an hour if you're lucky. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. It's to me, it's always just really important to keep a positive, good energy on set. Because like once, if a photographer starts being a dick or <laughs> like being in a bad mood, mm -hmm. like it brings the whole set down. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like if you're photographing somebody, the last thing, unless you're like looking for like a sad portrait, like <laughs> which isn't really my style. Who wants that? Yeah, it's you know you gotta come with some jokes and some sound effects, if you will. Boop. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So that's always just been my attitude is like, I'll try like for five minutes to kind of shoot the S word with them and <laughs> <laughs> try to censor myself. Um, to, you know, try to find something out about them that I can maybe use while we're shooting mm -hmm. to kind of like bring sort of a, a feeling to their portrait or something. Um, and then a lot of it's just me kind of being goofy and telling jokes and trying to capture like real smiles and laughter. All right, She's sorry. always like this. I know. This God. is this is pure Nicole. Even deal with me. <laughs> pure Nicole. Yay. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I'm a little glistening. It is warm under these uh, modeling lights, and I'm wearing a hat, and I'm talking a lot, and I'm being filmed. So <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. You're glowing. <laughs> I'm glowing. Okay, low hair. So I like the arm cross because I love seeing ears and brains, matchy tattoos. Let's do like a little three quarter pose. In that direction with the body, and then yeah, face towards camera. Gorgeous. Oh, we got a hat on, you guys. <laughs> oh, I love hats though. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, who is this cutie pie? <laughs> Actually, gonna go a little bit lower. Yeah. Super like hero pose right there, which is always fun. Look at all that sass. So much. <laughs> I love nice. it. Um, so let's do same thing. Uh, turn your shoulders towards camera just a little bit. Yeah, okay. it's like a little bit so of an I was angle. Asking, how do you deal with a serious model? Like when you have someone who with a serious yeah, model? like someone who doesn't you know. Oh yeah, that's when I have. That's when I dress a lot differently <laughs> and compose <laughs> myself a little differently. Um, you know, I do. I do shoot some serious people. Like I've sh you know politicians and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I guess the reason I'm doing this for a living is because I get to be me and yeah. people seem to, you know, I'm a photographer. Yeah. People I kind of seem to appreciate, you know, the artist weirdness or whatever. Um, so I try to watch what I say and things, but if I can get somebody that shows up on set that's a little more serious and like not like, ner you know, if they're nervous about getting photographed or just like not into it at all, like, I don't know if I can jubilantly bring them to life. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Oh, and I have photographed Lauren before, so I think that's why 
we've got a good a good little working relationship here so let's cross your arms differently um let's do god there's i think it's this one does that make sense wait no <laughs> Why is crossing your arms so hard? I know! Every time! Every time! Wait, like that? Yeah, just like a good, I don't know, like right under the, the boobs, right under just kind of... You yep. want to see some nails, maybe? Yeah, exactly, right? Oh, yeah. show, show them your manicure, Lauren, just real quick. Ah. These are her real nails, like she's the most talented woman I know. I have an office <laughs> job. <laughs> You're like, let me be clear. <laughs> Mama likes to type on the keyboard. <laughs> Um, and you know what? Let's actually, let's do three quarters that way. Yeah. Cute. Sweet little hair to kind of frame your face a little bit. Got some of those. Oh my god, I love the color of your hair right now. It's so good. Thank you. I know. It does look good. Okay, so body this, or yeah, 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 sorry. Body, body this way. Nope, too far. This way. Right there. Okay. And, and then instead of looking at the camera, I want you to actually look a little bit more about right yeah. here. Can you hold it? Maybe just uh, focus right here on that softbox. Perfect. Oh my God. Cute. Take a deep breath for me. Exhale through your mouth. Let your jaw relax. There you go. Gorgeous. And then kind of like smize at that softbox a little bit. Okay. I know you know how. Ooh. Can you raise an eyebrow? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite questions to ask people when I'm doing their portrait, because either you can or you can't. I can't. Most of the time people will try to do it. I can raise them both. So like if they can't do it, they luck. just look hilarious to me. I love outtakes. It's pretty much the greatest. Oh my god, even your adorable laughter smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That is like the most boss you have ever been, I think. Presidential. Yeah, that is presidential. <laughs> All right. Lauren Harris, 2020. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Cool, let's just do like a little round of this. So okay. every time the lights pop, just kind of switch it up a little okay. bit. I mean, literally, if it's just tilting your head a little okay. bit, looking somewhere else. Um, and just try not to look too far off camera. Otherwise, we just see like the whites of your eyes and then it's like super creepy looking. Okay. Um, but I'll let you know if you're doing that. Too. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, girl. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, okay. God, sorry. It's like as soon as I look to my lens, I have a different idea. So... <laughs> We're, we are going to do a little round here, um, but let's do something like a little more, yeah, just kind of like elbow out, like kind of a little bit, yeah, and bring your body towards camera, chin up a little bit, cute, and I'm going to fix your hair. Okay. I feel like I'm going to prom with myself. Oh my god, I wish you were right now. <laughs> <laughs> cute. And kind of like, um, like kind of kick your hip out, just to like kind of, just relax it down there. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And then turn your hips towards camera just a little bit. No, nope, other way. Towards camera. <laughs> and then kind of look right up here where my hand is. Gorgeous. I love it. God, she's so cute. <laughs> All right, and now I want to go kind of back to like shoulder square to camera. Are there pockets on that thing? No. What the? Why? That's why? why it was $17. Ladies need pockets. I know, that's why it was on sale. I have sizzles. <laughs> oh, you have scissors? scissors? <laughs> <laughs> I can, like, that pretend is a good like there's pockets. And you're all like, ooh, yes. <laughs> so let's just do, kind of shake your shoulders out a little bit. Kind of arms down at your side. Maybe we'll do, like, one little sass, sass hand on the hips so we can see those nails. Perfect. <laughs> Cute. Too far off camera? Right there, perfect. Mm-hmm. Chin up a little bit. <laughs> you just went super sass right there, I love it. <laughs> I watch Top Model, it's fine. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> These are great. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna actually, so we're working on like a four and a half foot backdrop. Um, normally I'd have up like a nine footer so we can shoot super wide and get full bodies and all that. Um, but we are working with what we got. So I'm gonna just, Squeeze that <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, maybe if I do one of these. Um, I'm gonna shoot a little bit wider because I wanna go like a three quarter portrait on her. Um, so yeah, so you're yeah, yeah. doing great. Lauren, do me a favor and just kinda like cross your um, cross your ankles kinda like that. Is that, can you, can you balance it? <laughs> it just gives like a nice little sort of line going down the, the portrait as opposed to like, you know, standing all like shoulder width apart yeah. or something. All right. You, and then with that hand, maybe just kind of like casually, yeah. A little casual cuteness. Yes. Beautiful. Chin down just a hair. 
Oh my god. And then give me your secret smile. Like I have a secret. I know, I'm like, you totally do. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Like I have a secret or I, I want, want a secret. A secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You are... Oh my... Yep, secret smile. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, you're too adorable. Okay, so that was fun. That was should a we, lot of fun. Should we get a jacket? Yes, I know. I have. So we're gonna kind of add and take off some things and see what we can do here. Michael's gonna do a reflector dance. I'm gonna boogie over here for a second. Let's see. Where do we want? Let's do, let's start with this one just because it's start nice and scully. We'll start with the scully. Okay, can we show yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so they'll be like fans. This is how much you can I tell love. me who designed this. He was on Adobe Live. He was one of the guests. Ooh. Ah. Very nice, very nice. So, I don't know if you're a fan of the X-Files. Ah, I was um, a scully. But Lauren managed to find scully. the most amazing patch in the whole wide world. Yeah. <laughs> Which she apparently gets plenty of compliments on all I the do. time. So. I do. <laughs> I'm sure she wears it, like, God. every day. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she works downtown. Like, she ain't messing around. <laughs> Personal <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna add some layers here and a little more texture to the portrait, if you will. And I think for these, we're actually gonna get a little bit tighter on her. Um, right now, I'm kind of maxed out at my 70 millimeters. I think we'll start there. I might pop on, like, an 85 millimeter prime lens um, if I want to get a little bit tighter. But I like where we're at for now. Let me do Ooh, some adjustments. Oh my god, yes. Yes, queen. Yes, queen, yes. Thank <laughs> you, mine. We made sure to watch plenty of Broad City last night we to sure get ourselves pumped up for the photo shoot. <laughs> we're the best. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Did we bring any necklaces? I can't remember. I have remember. one. Which one? The, like, shimmery. Oh, okay. Gem one. Oh, yeah, the, the, the grandma. Mm -hmm. My grandma one. Okay, sorry, again with the. There we go. Kind of trying to get all that hair nice and around uh, some business. Oh, my God, nice little safety pin there. I love that. Safety girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. <sighs> Cute. Let's see. Oh. Who's that lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let us both take deep breaths. All right. Gorgeous. Chin up just a little. And I actually, I am feeling, Lauren's wearing wedges, and I'm a short lady. Do we have, like, a half apple or anything, or is it just half. the full guys? Oh, the half is the monitors. Yeah, under the monitors. Is it enough? Or? Yeah. Could we? Is yeah, yeah, Gus will. Yeah, yeah, Gus has it. Woo! Gus! Thanks, Gus! Um, at five foot five, I'm not the most I tall photographer in the world. <laughs> Do you need second one? Oh no, this is perfect. Just good old, good old two inch lifty over here. Arr. Oh, there we go. I like that. Yay! Hi. Hello. So Lauren, do for yes. me. Um, I like. Uh, actually, let's just drop your arms for now because we are getting pretty tight on this one. Um, and kind of pull the kind of pull the jacket in a little bit, nice and tight. Yep, just like that. Because really, we're just kind of doing shoulders, neckline <laughs> area. Um, so yeah, just nice and straight onto camera. Kind of see what that looks like. Who's that lady? <laughs> oh my that god, your like tiny little smirk. That looks like a driver's license. That totally <laughs> is. That pleases me tremendously. <laughs> um, we've kind of just tossed the hair back on that side of your head just a little bit. And then you've got a little piece kind of... It's... Yeah. It's impossible to I explain things myself. sometimes. Because I can and you can't. Ooh, actually, can we do like a yep. little just swoop around? Swoop I know around. you don't have long hair, but I'm sure Jason knows what a swoop oh, around is. All That's the time. a technical <laughs> term. Every all the time. Every time. <laughs> that is perfect. And then for this, I do want you kind of looking a little bit up and off. Get those big old baby blues. Beautiful. <laughs> Cute. Now rot rotate your body that way a little bit and then face back to camera. And, and do me I actually look at like the top of my head as opposed to into the lens. Gorgeous. Oh my god. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing that happens though, is because I do get excited and say random stuff while I'm shooting that 
I tell you, we need a lot of breaks in between the shots <laughs> to like decompose. Decompose. Decom that doesn't even make any. Uh, de compress. Compress. Yeah, thank I'm you from the, the laughter. <laughs> Cute. Let's see. Um, a little less tilt on the head and a little chin down. Oh, up a little bit, right there. Perfect. Just like with still life, it's just always all about just like the tiniest little movements, like forever. And cuteness. Let's do an arm cross now with that. I always like, so you did it. You did it. <laughs> you can't think about it when you think too hard about right? it. Right? <laughs> um, top of your head. Let's see, actually tilt your head. I know, <laughs> you're just gonna follow me. Uh, right there? Yeah, I think I like that. Keep your body where it is. Don't do anything, I'm just gonna do that. I just wanted to tap your ass properly, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, geez, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, and then kind of, again, lean towards camera from the waist just a little bit. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. And then keep everything where it is. Don't move your head or your body, but I want you to bring your eyes a little bit, like, right here. A little bit closer. Perfect. And that little smirky smile. <laughs> smirky smile. <laughs> How are we doing? Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> you are so good at smirky uh, smile. Oh, but yes, Adam. Oof. Peter oh, Kaiser. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah, he found the name of the artist. Of the t -shirt. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Good job. Pockets are girls' best friends. True. Oh, god, true. I know. Pockets for life, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not fair that we don't get them all the time. I know. <laughs> I hate it. It's like a big purse trying to keep us down. Good old big purse. I know. I know. It's not fair. <laughs> um, okay, I dialed this light down like about a third of a stop because it is getting a little bit bright. Um, so we're just going to do one more little round here on this look. Yeah, and then a little more looking off to big baby Jesus in the sky. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I like big baby Jesus. Big baby yeah. Jesus. <laughs> um, I need to. All right, same pose, just mm -hmm. chin down just a hair. Oh, no, sorry, chin up. And straighten your head for me. And then kind of look right there, up a little bit. Gorgeous. Lean towards camera. I know the tiniest things I'm telling you to do, huh? Perfect. <laughs> oh, baby girl. All right, tiny bit more of a hair hole. I'm gonna do like two more photo, or like two more shots here really quick. Um, then I think we'll have you put your hair up. Oh, okay. And maybe we'll, oh yeah, I know what we'll do, okay. okay. So right now you're kind of like leaning your head back. Yep, there we go. We want a little bit more. Oh my god, just like that. Oh no, you're gonna. <laughs> she gonna start laughing. I can't. Stop trying really hard not I know. to. You're doing great. We're just so funny. I know. We're like hilarious. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that last one. That nice. is like that is the Lauren that I know and love forever and always. <laughs> god, and look at those nails. And your little like your little red tattoo. You've yeah. got all these adorable yeah. little red hints everywhere. This is. Nice. That is perfect. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop on this particular okay. Let me go grab a hair. scenario. We've got go a really fun thing. Ah. Oh, do, should I put my hair up? Let's do, yeah, if we can do like hair kind of up low. and a little off to the side okay. and low. Okay. Um, oh, I think I left my thing in the other and, and touch up lipstick. Okay, I'll go fast. And foam finger. Foam finger's over there. Yes. Oh my god, you guys have to see this uh, thing. What is this? It is the coolest foam finger that anyone. Oh, <laughs> she nailed. found it at some thrift store in North Dakota. So cool. North Dakota. That's literally how we it, say it Dakota. Just came out right yeah, there. totally. It just, came out. <laughs> just all the O's are gonna start dropping now. So yeah, so it's like that on one side and this on the other. Never in my life did I think there was something this cool in the world. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna get some fun sort of goofy portraits because it totally matches her nails, not mine. Um, We'll get some fun little portraits of her with this, and then I want to kind of finish off with um, just sort of getting just like a shot of her hands oh, yeah. with the nails Good and the nails. foam fingers. I don't know. We'll find something kind of cool to do with it, but awesome. I'm pretty excited. Yay. Are you having fun, Michael? Yeah. I'm having fun. I love portraits. Me That's too. Cool. I just feel like I can like do this more instead of like, you know, she's like so <laughs> frozen when I'm doing still life stuff. So. <laughs> This is and you cannot really talk to, to a No, car bottles don't bottles. give a crap about what I have to say yeah. to them. <laughs> hold this for me yes. so I can see myself. Oh, you're cute. Oh, we're going to watch Lauren do some makeup. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't know the camera's right here, oh. just so you know. Whoa. <laughs> can we 
want like a low off to the side mm -hmm. kind of yeah. so, so space. So, so, so. <laughs> We can talk like this oh, from now. This is our new thing that we do. I love it. I can totally understand you. And then if we could maybe like pin it just a little bit on that side, just yeah. to kind of give it that full wrap around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Cute. Oh my god. Oh, Doesn't she look amazing? There's a Nell emoji. Look at that at the end. Oh, totally. Yep. Yes. Uh, I love that. Uh oh, emoji. Kathleen wants a tutorial by <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much fun. Well, this is Cover Girl. Only the best for me. <laughs> well, I thought she was going to light a cigar or something. That would have been kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay! Good. And that's Cover Girl lipstick, Kathleen. Lime Crime's great, though. Cover Girl and Text Me. Hashtag text me. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lady stuff. Okay. Do you have an extra bobby fin on you? I do. Okay. I have two. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. Okay. So, oh my god, that last portrait of you is... Mm. Oh, similar. It's just killing me right now. I love uh, it so much. Oh no, how, do I not know how bobby pins work? Is this even gonna work? It's always like a hope and a wish that like two bobby pins will hold we'll all my hold hair, all but... We're gonna see what we can come up with. Again, I'm sure Jason understands. I just assume you have all the long hair problems that girls do. That didn't work, so we're gonna just move on. Okay. Hi. Hi. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm not on my thing. That's totally okay. I'm gonna. Wait. Aw, I wanted to look cool. I was pressing the wrong button. Push the top. Such a Jesus. Okay. Nice little curve. Bam. Mm, glorious. Yes, keep the pony out. Um, yeah. Okay. I kinda like okay. Cute. Um, there you go. Cool. Okay, so actually let's lose the jacket and bring in that foam thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we had dinner last night and we got very excited. We got really excited about, about the foam fingers. <laughs> oh man. And how are we doing? Oh, great. It's not even 2 o'clock yet. We are doing spectacular. Um, and so... <laughs> it's going to happen. I know. So let's see. Make sure you're wearing it the way that your hand would be. Wait. Is it er... Number one. Oh, it's that one. Yep. <laughs> like you had Again, to say that out loud. Had to say it. <laughs> um, so what I really want to see, if we're gonna if we're gonna have the foam finger, I think it's very important that we see your other hand with your perfect manicure as well. So I mean, it could just be something as you know, a little just kind of like playing with with the strap a little bit. Maybe it's um, kind of got your thumb under the strap. Yeah, I know it's got like for a tiny hand, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, I'm right hand again. Okay. Cute as a button. <laughs> Sports. Yes. Sports. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Sounds about right. <laughs> um, let's see. So maybe it's more. Okay. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> like we're just gonna get very literal. <laughs> I love it. Um, what if we see the other side and then you do like yeah, same Z's. Let's see. Center yourself just a little bit. Take a tiny step that way. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> and then they like act like you're like biting the nail, like you're you know, like you're nervous and you're but like still like maybe um yeah. Oh my god, cute. See, we can do cute stuff here, you guys. <laughs> do some of these. Adorable. <laughs> Ooh. You have the preview, Jason? <laughs> Don't worry, we're getting the light room up, I promise. Oh my god, you're so cute. Um, <laughs> you just want to pick your I nose do. a bit, I can tell. <laughs> it's, just, it's funny, I'm sorry. Uh, um, what, what does it look like when you try to cross your arms with that thing? It's easier, I think, if it's... Is it weird if it's on the other hand? I mean... Because it's backwards? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can you cross your arms... Opposite. See, now is where like our brains have Wait, to work what? a little harder. <laughs> How do this hands so work, you guys? It's okay. Okay. Mm, I think it has to be flipped still. 
Is it the? There you go. Okay. Because that's where thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> and then center yourself a little bit. So a tiny step that way. Perfect. I'm just gonna kind of close down a little bit. Just right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect reflector work. Oh my God! Right there. That's gorgeous. Chin up just a hair. Yep. Oh my God. And point your other pointer finger out on your other hand just a little bit. <laughs> Very natural. That was dope. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, life is great, you guys. <laughs> I and Dylan, um, looking again, just kind of past me, okay. like right at the corner of that softy. And point that finger out. <laughs> and then tilt your head to the side just a little bit, and then lean forward from the waist. Pull in focus, beautiful. And then bring your eyes in the camera. Gorgeous. This is my girl. Brian. There it is. <laughs> I hope Brian's watching. I know he is. He's texting. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's day three. We got to go all the way with the shout outs. <laughs> My God, that hand is like the most, it's like oh, yeah. the so creepiest, nice. the greatest, greatest thing. thing. So I can't believe like a dollar. God. Oh, adorable. So cute. Okay. <clears throat> I know you just get more <laughs> happy as the shots go on. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to sit you on an apple box so I have a little bit more room above you. This way. Oh, perfect. And that being said, so we're changing her position, so we're going to lower the lights along with her so we maintain our we're her to sit. fanciness. Sit or to uh, um, walk on the... She no, she'll be, yeah, we're going to have her sit. So actually, we can throw it right up to where she was standing. Yeah. Okay. Little Lauren, if you want to jump over there. So now you guys can see I'm kind of, I'm going to lower all these lights to maintain uh, what we've been working with here. That should be good. Thank you, Michael. Let's do the same, whoops, with our beauty dish. I thought I was your beauty Oh dish. my god, you love my beauty dish. <laughs> so cute, I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, okay, hi, here I am. Hi. And I'm actually going to sit as well. Like a lady. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Like that. There we go. <laughs> did you see uh, the picture of Rihanna on the jet ski riding with her legs? I did. I sure did. We'll talk about it later. We totally will. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to talk about it now? <laughs> JK Lols. Um, so for this one, you know what? Let's scoot your apple box this way just a hair. Or actually, wait, which? This way, because you're wearing it on that hand. Sorry. Perfect. <clears throat> So I want this to be very kind of perfect posture, very serious, okay. eyes straight into camera, and then it's just gonna you're just gonna like super serious like hold that shit up. Like this? Just, yeah, totally. And then with that hand, bring it a little bit more over your lap, and then kind of casual fingers, good old casual <laughs> fingers. You know, it's totally normal. <laughs> oh my god, this is your new Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, like my oh, dreams oh, are coming oh, true oh. today, you guys. <laughs> I love it. Oh um I just I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the light up just a little bit because I like a little bit more uh a little bit more brightness. Um uh bring your elbow in. Yep. Oh my god. Yes. And then one of those looking off into wherever. <laughs> and then take a deep breath for me. And that perfect clarinetist posture again that we spoke of yesterday. We're both first chair, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. And then just kind of, I don't want you to smize, but I want you to like almost kind of squint like a little thought, bit. Like I'm thought Yeah. Then. Yep. Oh my god, you're dreaming of all of your future <laughs> Senate campaigns. <laughs> Beautiful. You're like, hell no. <laughs> Chin down just a hair. Perfect. Yes, girl. That's queen. Yes. 
can't Oh wait. my god, you're my favorite person. This looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're number one. <laughs> we're number one. <laughs> okay. I'm in love. Um, so I feel pretty good about this. Um, on normal portrait shoots, if we had more time, I'd probably throw up a different color backdrop, change the lighting setup or whatever. Um, but we don't have all the time in the world. I do want to do one more quick, um, more sort of pared down, pared down um, lighting setup, just to kind of show you something easy you can do in studio with a beauty dish. So, um, let's my see. You, let's see, you'll you probably be GoPro? sitting. Okay. Um, just give me a, a out, moment. I'll get out the way. Take a little break, if you will. Um, so I'm killing both these edge lights. <clears throat> or rim lights or whatever. I don't know, there's a million ways to call things everywhere. Um, we're gonna pop, oh, that's getting warm. Whew, we're gonna pop off the sock from our beauty dish. And actually, you know what? We're gonna pop off the beauty dish too. Why? Because we're crazy. <gasps> we're crazy today. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, little, hot, little, hot, hot. Um, let's see. So, I'll start talking once I'm facing the camera again. There it is. Where? I saw the Magnum earlier. It was like, oh, it's on that light over there. Uh, Where? Oh, yeah. The yeah, the oh, modifier over there. Thank you. Uh, so, for those of you that were watching, um. Hold on, team. That's just that's just so bright. Uh, for those of you that were watching the uh, last two days, the modifier that we're bringing on, um, it's called the Profoto Magnum. <laughs> it's this really beautiful, deep, like silver, sort of like hammered metal interior um, light modifier. Ooh, where are you at? Yeah, this bad boy. Um, you can kind of see the inside. It's like all these little bumps are just gonna like grab that light and just like throw it back out like onto the the subject or whoever we're shooting or whatever we're shooting. Um, so this for me is kind of a quick and easy studio light setup. Um, you know, if you don't have a lot of time with the client or, you know, if you ain't getting paid that much and you just want to <laughs> just want to pop off some good looking studio shots. Um, I found this to be a glorious uh, method as well. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have Lauren like practically up against our seamless paper back here. Um, the closer she's to the backdrop, the heavier, like, crisper shadow we're gonna get. Um, and that's kind of, I want to do almost like an on-camera flash type, uh, type shot here. So we're still gonna keep the light at a distance because I want it to spread out to kind of, you know, hit as much of that white backdrop as we can. Um, and we're gonna turn it back up to about eight, or the power of eight, or whatever we call these things. Um, Gosh, and actually, I don't know if I want you sitting there staying. God, that's so bright. Why am I looking right into it? <laughs> um, let's try it. Let's have you sit down and let me see what that looks like first. <clears throat> and because we changed uh, our lighting setup. Oh, you know what I didn't do, you guys? And it's already too late because I already changed it. We didn't grab the color checker card oh. from the last setup. We'll grab it for this one, though, so I can still show you again how it's done, um, especially in like a portrait type situation. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and don't look right into the light. It's gonna be bright. Holy guacamole, Batman! <laughs> it is reading at like above f thirty two, um, which, okay. as most of us know, is like wicked bright. Oh. So I'm just gonna turn it down to about a. I've been dropping it like two stops. Uh, let's see if that actually does it for us. All right, so now we're reading a little under an f twenty two. I'm gonna set my camera at about an. F16, just because I want a little bit of that extra sort of almost overexposed type quality without losing any detail in my highlights. Wow, it's been really insane, like, s saying what I'm doing while I'm doing yeah. it. I don't, just because it's like, oh, wow, there is, like, a reason for all the things that I do. Yeah. I'm not just, like, randomly doing stuff, so, <laughs> which is how I feel sometimes. We all do. And maybe I am. Uh, <laughs> All right, low hair, does this look pretty centered with, with you again? All right, yeah, and you can see, guys, because I have the modeling light on, um, you can actually kind of see where the shadow is going to fall behind her on the paper. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to end up raising the light to lower that shadow down a little bit, but we'll see. We'll kind of see what it looks like and <clears throat> see if it's what we want it to look like. Who's that lady? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> 
All right, so that's not exactly what I want it to look like at all. As you can see, it doesn't even really look like I'm throwing much light on you. And that's not fun. So we're just gonna mess it around some more. We're gonna move in closer. God, that apple box is terrifying. Um, oh, so strong. Ooh. All right, we gotta get that centered back on her. See that? Oh, whoa. So, you know, one thing, like, as a photographer, when you're messing with your lights, you know, I'm standing here, I've got the light, I'm looking down the light, and I'm looking at Lauren, and it seems like it's, it's right, you know, hitting her, centered, and all that sort of stuff, but it's usually never the case, so it's always a good idea to kind of pop in close, kind of look at it yourself, and then you'll kind of see, like, oh, that's actually going, like, just above her head, so we'll lower it a little bit, and check again, that looks a little bit more appropriate. And I'm going to jump this power back up to eight. So we just went up two stops on that bad boy. <clears throat> and, ooh, hi. Sorry, I should stop saying that because, oh, God, you guys, look at how bright it is. Ah. Oh, <laughs> like ah. the ghost of Lauren Harris. <laughs> um, so... I don't know, I really like a powerful light. So I'm actually, I'm gonna turn up to an F16 on my camera. Um, see if we're not gonna eliminate some of those uh, extreme blowouts. I wanna get nice and close to her too. Cute. Ooh. <sighs> Team status, okay. I am definitely liking that. That shadow behind her, though, yeah. isn't exactly what I want. It looks, you can kind of see, it looks just like a rando blob. It's a good old fashioned rando. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and raise this light some more. You'll kind of see, <clears throat> like watching through the video, that shadow is gonna kind of dip down behind her a little bit more. And get it nice and straight again. And then I'm gonna angle it up, angle it up a little bit. No. God, but I want to keep it on that sweet spot. Let's see, I'm gonna, we're gonna get you even closer to that backdrop because I'm just a maniac. Uh, okay, so just remember that's not a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you're a smart that's lady, but. <laughs> not always. The paper's not a wall, not always. always. <laughs> um, and another thing I can kind of do to eliminate that shadow is just sort of change my perspective a little bit. Um, so maybe I'm gonna try to come Come at it from this angle instead. Boop, boop, boop. It's kind of working God. Or, mm, 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 mm. I can't tell if it's just because you're sitting and that's why I don't like the shadow. Let's have you stand up. I think you'll be able to get closer to the backdrop that way. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Of course. Um, so yeah, I mean, just like as close as I can get. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and again, she's standing, so we're going to move the light on up with her. Ooh. I, I know, don't, don't look at it, buddy. Just don't do it. Okay. It's shiny. I know, right? It's shiny and pretty. <laughs> as is life. All right. Cool. That looks bright. <laughs> we did it. Uh-oh. Getting all tangly over here. <laughs> the, I like playing play tetherball with my camera. Okay. <laughs> my hair looked weird in the last one. Is it okay? Oh, you look fabulous. Gosh. Sorry, this is where I have to like think about stuff for a minute. That shadow there. Oh, you know what? Psh. Why are we even messing around? All right, step off set for one second, Lauren. I'm just gonna light the backdrop instead, you guys. I know, I was going to be like, oh, this is going to be like a super simple studio setup. So if you have two lights, it's nice and easy. Uh, but we're just going to throw a light on the white so it stays nice and bright. I'm going to hand this uh, arm off to Michael. Danke. Lauren, you're like taller than this, right? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay she can, we can use the box. Oh my god, do we have any shorter stands? I'm taller than this. Or she can stand on the box. So. Yeah, yeah, actually, we'll probably have you stand on the half box. Okay. I think that'll work. Um, 
Do you want Gosh. to maybe read it first? Well, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to think of like what a, an easy, maybe we're, we'll just light it this way instead. Yeah, will you match that light to this one for me? So I'm just kind of figuring out how we're going to light this backdrop in this size of a space. Normally if I had like a, a backdrop light stand, it'd be a stand about this tall that I could pop in right behind her, raise it up, and then she'd just be lit from behind and her body would be covering the equipment. Um, but we are working with what we got and this will essentially take care of that business as well. So um, we're going to pop these grids out, Michael. They're probably a little warm because we've had those modeling lights on. Right there, and then yeah, and then if you can kind of bring that one just around a little bit more. Let's see, I always like to stand from camera position to kind of make sure everything's sort of symmetrical if we're looking for that type of even lighting um, on set. That's pretty good. Adjustments. All right. Perfect. So we're gonna pop Lauren in and okay. see what that looks like. I think. And Tyson Brian. Yeah, you guys are horrible. <laughs> as close to the back as possible. Um. Oh, actually, oh, no. Lauren. You're gonna be about right there. Bitchin'. Okay. I'll lower this down. Don't look at I'm it. Not looking at, look it. at it. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Cute. All right, I'm gonna just shimmy this back a little bit from you. Um, again, I'm like trying to guess if it's centered. I don't know, so I'm gonna stand where Lauren is and say that yes, that's very bright <laughs> and sure centered. Is. <laughs> sure is. Okie dokie. So lighten her a little bit from above at a slight angle down, so we might get like a nice little, you know, shadow right under her nose and under her lower lip which I'm always into. Um, I'm gonna check our light again. Bam. <laughs> F64, wow. you guys. Yeah, <laughs> what F64. even? Wow. So I I'm mean, gonna get a tan maybe. I know, totally. <laughs> I like that attitude. They definitely get um, so, I mean, I'm tossing my camera all the way up to f22 just for fun. <coughs> um, I normally never shoot uh, at that high of an aperture. But, hey, we're here to learn stuff and experiment. I might as well learn too. Yeah. All right, baby girl, let's see what we got. Oh, I think I'm already appreciating what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That's kind of adorable. Um, so you can see we've still got a little bit of gray on the backdrop, <laughs> though. Face. You know, totally sorry. <laughs> so, um, one thing you guys can see over here. Okay, so on these seven-inch reflectors, um, actually on all the pro photo equipment, here, I'm gonna kind of sh show them something real quick, like, um, you can kind of see, like, all, all their, like, metal reflectors have this information on the side. If you can kind of see those numbers, and it says sort of the angle of the light you're gonna get, um, the light's that have a matching corresponding set of numbers um, along this thing. So you can essentially like zoom the light in and out how you want it. Uh, so that shot we just took, I believe we were, we were sitting right on the five, which is only giving us a 45 degree light angle. Uh, so I'm gonna push it in all the way to eight, which would give us just like a nice flat whoops, light angle from, uh, from all of them. We've got about a, like a 95 degree rock in there. We'll do the same with our other light. And hopefully we'll see a difference in our backdrop colors. Um, or not really the color, but we'll just get a, a brighter white and less of that gray gradient happening there. But I mean, that looks good. Like if you're looking for yeah. that type of a shot, I mean, I wouldn't be mad. All right, and I just raised the power on my, my key light again. Cute. It's always like a fingers crossed, did yeah. we do it? All right, we're getting there. I'm going to raise the power on those backdrop lights just to kind of get us to full white. I'm going to dial it up to eight. Gosh, and I, yeah, this is my favorite type of photography, I think. <laughs> like, I just like moving around and like doing stuff. I don't know. It's fun. People are fun. People are fun. Who's that lady? Oh, 
Fabulous. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's fantastic. We're getting, I mean, it's not full white, I don't think. Like, what's it reading? Almost. Almost, maybe, though, I mean. Maybe we can raise uh, the roof. What? <laughs> At the level of her head, maybe. Go a little higher, you said? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm probably going to, I'm going to get a little tighter on her anyways. Um, it's not so proper. And then dial it up to like 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. Woo! All of the lights. I know, it's totally right. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh man, I'm just gonna go like a third of a stop. So three clicks on a, on the old key like there. We were getting no, songs stuck in people's heads. Stuck in the <laughs> <laughs> This is literally what's going on in my mind all the time. Like, ask anybody that knows me. This little bear cubs just singing songs. <laughs> God, you're so cute. <laughs> all right, um, let's go, like, let's get a little sass. Oh, which, which... The front one, because I want to see them nails. And then that other hand, oh, actually, nope, I liked that just like good old fashioned dangle there. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. Chin down just a hair. Mm-hmm. And then kind of a little bit right there. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, fox and lady. Do you think we could bust in that reflector again yep. too so we can get a little bit of fill down there in her hand and stuff? So same pose, Lauren, if you don't mind. Nice. And then take a tiny step that way for me. I'm just trying to kind of get you all up in that frame there. Oh my god, perfect. Cute. <laughs> Totally have fun with it. I love it. Let's do like double hands on hips. Let's get like uber angular and bring that elbow kind of around towards camera. And then bring your face to camera a little bit. Chin up just a hair. And a sweet little secret smile. And I'm losing the nails from the face. Yeah, I kind of try to wrap it around. Perfect. I got you, boo. Um, and then let's just go nice. Arms down at your sides. And then just kind of kick out your hip just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like that. What about, can you do like one arm behind your back, kind of holding on to the other arm, sort of a thing? Yeah, just kind of cute and cash. Cute and cash. Cute and cash. <laughs> just like whatever. And then lean forward from your hips just a little bit and bring your eyes in the camera for me. Cute. And that little smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Okay, what are we at for time? All right, it's quarter after two. I feel like we've got some really fantastic portraits that we're going to work with here. Somebody said don't forget mm. the color card. Oh my gosh, you guys are sweet oh angels. God. Thank you. Duh. They are the real assistants. And this is why I have sweet. assistants on set that can remind me to do all the things that I'm not doing right. <laughs> I get excited and forget about stuff sometimes. Ask anybody. Oh my God. All right, that's going to be the winning shot, so... <laughs> Let's make sure everybody can see it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And Woo! that's our... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, one more. We need just the shot of your arm, your hands. Oh, with the finger. With the ah, finger. Yeah. Good point. Gotta have a nice... I like to, if I can, try to make nice little sets of photos or whatever. Um, it's always nice to be able to pair a photo up with something that's spectacular. How do we want to do that? Uh, so I think I want you off camera. Okay. And I just, I wanted to just like really totally totally tandem um so whichever anymore. yeah it's just gonna be like a okay oh a bam like a almost like maybe even do like a finger gun or something fun oh that was a I can't rhyme see there. finger gun or something fun <laughs> or did I just did the foam finger be the other way i don't care it looks so weird okay. and awkward <laughs> can we take this bracelet yeah. off awesome just have some nice clear okay. arms <laughs> And let's make sure you've got nice separation between the two and then come in a little bit more with it. Yeah. A little higher. Perfect. I've got to see it. It's so weird. I know, right? Big money, no whammy. <laughs> 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 and then actually, let's do one coming from the, I want to see, now I just want to kind of see both. Yeah. So. Should I switch? May, put whatever the foam finger on the correct hand. This is the correct okay, hand. Okay. So just like that. Perfect. So step out of frame, so your arm's just going to be right in center, so you can keep, go back a little bit more, a little more, keep going. Yeah, perfect. Just the hand? Yeah, let's just do that. It's like the beach is that away. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's got a cat hair on it. Should of course it does. <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then do the same thing, but with your actual hand. Yep, and can we take those rings off maybe? I just kind of want, I, I, I can see something oh, oh. growing in here. <laughs> something growing in here. Right? Ew. Uh, I know, we're all like, ew, look at that me. <laughs> How does the thumb, oh, so it's like, like that, kind of, huh? Like, yep. And I'm just, hands are adjust really, my hand. Yeah, hands are really yeah. wicked weird. You put me where Oh yeah, you're good, me. Michael. All right, so make sure that, is, that light's hitting them nails. Oh, we got that pointer, yep. <laughs> Actually, I love that with Michael's like airy man arm in there, <laughs> which is totally normal. Like I have hairy arms too; it's wonderful. <laughs> I love. Yep. And then, uh, oh yeah, get that reflector in there. That's perfect. Bend your thumb just a hair. It's hard to bend my thumb. I and know. Not my pointer. Why is um, that weird? Everything <laughs> we do with people in photos is usually very uncomfortable for yeah. them, but it always looks like the most natural. <laughs> Wow, and hands look so weird when you photograph them a bunch. Whatever, we got some goodies. Okay, that's yeah. a wrap. Woo! Yeah! Good job. Woo! Okay. Gosh, you guys, that was a lot of fun. Thank you to Miss Lauren Harris for joining time. us on this Thank adventure. You for me. Heck yeah, girl. Oh, okay. We can do. Thank you, Master. All right. So we just killed all those lights. Man, I only said boop like a couple of times. Yeah, and I feel seriously. like it was ironic all of the times, like, I know. because people now expect you to boot. I know. People now expect you to boot. I watched yesterday. <laughs> I know what's going on. Heck yeah. Okay, I I'm unplugging from that okay. and that. Cool girl. Yeah, go and like chill out and drink, drink some water. Some water yeah. yeah. to hear what the art director has to say. That is our art director. For that. that makes me yeah. so happy you guys did it. Does it say it? Or does he just... Just oh. trust me. I'm an artist. Oh, God. Oh, man. My that nightmares are going to be made from that. Could... Tap the bass, maybe? Tap the bass. Nope. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I don't love it. <laughs> oh my god, I know. That is seriously way too common. <laughs> oh, mm, I like it, but I don't love it. There's so, yeah, there's so many words that I could say right now. Think bigger, but keep it simple. Think bigger, but keep it simple. I want it elevated, I think is another good word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... I don't have my smart lady glasses on, you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you see her screen? Yep. Oh, awesome. Wow. Fun. Whew. That was a little powerhouse there. Do we have any, any questions or anything, or are they all just chatting amongst themselves? Oh, they chat, but yeah. Cute. Don't hesitate Where now can I buy to, the director, please? to ask the questions. We have the chat in front of us, so we... 
Nicole would be happy to answer all your yeah, questions. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I might not have the answer, but I might. You never know. Who knows? Okay. <sighs> all right, here we are. So, <laughs> we're going <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay. Um, so we're just going to jump right into, uh, I don't know, I keep looking at the monitor. I know the camera's there. I'm going to try to focus a little harder. Um, and I can't see that far away with these on. <clears throat> so we're going to kind of jump right into it like we did uh, the last couple of days. Um, portrait retouching is a little bit more of my favorite sort of jam. So um, I'm, <laughs> I might actually be able to like show you some real stuff this time. Uh, let's quit our capture. Uh, so first things first, we're going to, now that we've got our color checker card up, we're going to pull that into the application and set our camera profile, at least for the, the second lighting setup that we did, um, yeah. as I forgot to capture it the first time. So <clears throat> what did I just say we're going to do? Export. Uh, so we're going to export it, DNG file. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop because we need to access it right away. Um, there we go. Boom. Done in one. We're gonna open up the corresponding color checker passport app that comes with that color checker card. Uh, if you guys have more questions about that, um, feel free to ask or shoot me an email or whatever. I'm more than happy to uh, share whatever information that I have with y'all. Okay. Oh, that was like that yeah, was like twelve boop boops song. at once. Yeah, that yeah. was a boop song. And I realized last night the the reason why I, I have said boop in my life is because there's always this like animal meme and it would be like like a cat like booping oh, yeah. a dog on the nose and then it would say boop or whatever and I have two dogs and two cats and there's a lot of booping going on in my house um <laughs> so yeah somehow that uh that just worked its way into my daily life let's see it is being weird why isn't it letting me grab stuff hold on guys let's see can we Okay, we're just gonna make our own grid oh. here by <laughs> clicking all the little crosses on each corner. That'll set yeah, it up nice and go. perfect. Create that profile. Um, let's do Lauren, second shot, save. Has anybody else been using the color checkers through this the this week? <laughs> no. It's the end of the week, it's hard. Already, no? Oh, okay. anyone using it. Cool. It's fun, I don't know, I like tools. So, okay, we've got our <clears throat> our profile created. Get me out of here, man. Close that down. Uh, we're yeah, going right. to restart Lightroom so it can reload that anyone. profile. Yeah. Color yeah. match, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't yeah. even have any uh, white balance. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, it takes all kinds. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> today, yeah. <laughs> For real, right? But the cameras are so good today also. Yeah. Um, it's hard to mess up. Yeah. I know, right? Totally. So I'm just going to jump into the develop module and we'll go all the way down to the camera calibration okay. panel. And it should be in the list because you yep, said Yeah, and I just reset Lightroom so it's upon restarting it it's uploaded the the new profile. So you see we got Lauren 2 right in there. And I can toggle that on and off. I mean, you can just barely see well, a little yeah, difference, a little but you know what? If, it feels yeah. safe to have it there, so yeah. we're gonna gonna roll with that. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to our with overview. Did, uh, um, did a good job. Yeah, exactly, right? And let's see, we changed our mm. light right around here. So I'm just gonna sync yeah. um, our white balance, our process version, and our calibration. Um, and so that, that color checker card is for specific lighting scenarios. So mm. if you start, if you change to a different lighting setup, you got to throw that card in there again. Um, I even do it sometimes when I, even if I have the same lighting setup, if I'm changing out backdrop colors and stuff, just to kind of make sure I have <clears throat> the proper information that I need. Um, and we didn't do one for this shot, but I'm just going to pull a simple, just white balance um, straight up off the background because that was yeah. a nice, easy... Nice. Gray, and again, we're just gonna go select all. Uh, let's just go through what, through here. Sync, and on this one, I'm just gonna uh, synchronize the white balance since I didn't mess with that other panel. And that'll give us, it looks like it warmed it up a little bit, so I'm into it. Um, while it's doing that, we're gonna go through some of these shots real quick and kind of figure out what our favorite ones are. <laughs> Cause Lori's adorable. Okie dokie, and I just wanna make sure I'm doing good on time, okay. <clears throat> Duh. <laughs> so cute. 
Alright. And normally, like when I do portraits, uh, still life's totally different because you're really just shooting for that one hero shot or whatever your shot list is. Um, so you know, once you've tweaked everything at the end, like, okay, that last shot, like that was the final shot. Portraits, obviously, you're shooting a bunch, so you got a lot to work with. Um, so when I when I edit through my uh, my images in Lightroom, I kind of go through them pretty fast, and I just kind of and just kind of flag them as I go. Um, you, you always do the same um, rating, like when you flag, like just one. I do. Far. I used to do. I used to actually flag them yeah, with, with the, the P, P key. Yeah. Um, but then it's like I'm always using the arrow buttons on my right hand to do it, so it just seemed easier to use my left hand to do it. So I just do everything. Ah, I rate I everything a one at first for my first go through, and then the ratings get higher as I kind ah, of I narrow see. them down. So. And I think to reject, it's X. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. just having the keyboard <laughs> in front of me, like, like, <laughs> okay, it's you know, uh, Totally. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're just going to do that really quick. And right now I'm just trying to look at expression, lighting, and composition. So it's mm -hmm. like anything that kind of jumps out at me that's adorable or fun or that could make even a good outtake for like an Instagram post, you know, later on <clears throat> is always exciting. Oh my God, Lauren. <laughs> Seriously, you're like killing it over here, child. Yeah. And Lauren, so this is a very bad monitor, so don't. Okay, oh yeah, yeah that's not what the, they look like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they look much better. Right? Oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> Yes, boss lady. Oh my god, <laughs> adorable. Yeah, that tiny little smirk. Look at those baby blues. Oh my god, they like match her jacket perfectly. Wow. Oh, Thanks, Mom. Dream Team USA over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to like start your own business or something, Lauren, because we just have way too many <laughs> good <Yeah. laughs> profile pics. We'll just make a bunch of LinkedIn pages for you with like different shots. It's so that most of people, they start a business and then they need a picture. Right? No, we're Maybe starting. Like, like I got a good picture. I need to start a business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that attitude. That's so stinking cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, this is just glorious. Oh God, that tiny little smirk, it just kills me every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was like, "B, let's get weird," because <laughs> that's totally natural, right, Lauren? Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Oh yeah, yeah. These I ones one. please me awesome. just tremendously. So much seriousness. <laughs> I have. There's one shot. I can't remember if it's on my website, but it was like a fun collaboration I did. But we had a foam finger. It was blue, and it said "Number One Dad" on it, and it was just like this super silly, goofy model, and she was just like, "Yeah." number one dad so I bet she'll make a great dad someday <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that one's good I love the look in Lauren's whoops ah eyes in this one she's just very like determined like ready to ready to rock and roll I mean you're always ready to rock and roll Lauren but <laughs> it's true oh my god I love that attitude that was just adorable I know the light's not where I want it but I do love that photo of her oh. So adorable and sassy. They did a great job on your hair, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> you and I make the same excited face. <laughs> it's like to open our mouths out of really wide. <laughs> oh man. Smirk. Super cute. <laughs> yeah. It's always a winner. But that one's weird. Oh man, is there water? Is that what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like so parched right now. I've been talking like way too much. Okay, you guys, we're almost through our Mamba Jamba here. Cool. All right, back to grid. And now I'm just going to hit my one star rating. We'll see. We pulled about, what, 25 out of 111 <laughs> photos out of there. Not too shabby for an hour's worth of work. Um, Now we're going to pick our. Let's see, let's pick like two of our favorites that will bust into Photoshop. Oh my god, but they're all my favorites because <laughs> it's Lauren. <laughs> I really love that one a lot. Actually, that's like a very Lauren face. So I'm going to rate that at a five. And then I'm going to go into, let's see, it's one of these two. I, I just uh, I like the light on this one more, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that, and then that one's just super weird. So all right, we're down 
to these ones, which are fabulous. So, uh, back into our develop module, you guys. We're just gonna tweak a couple of things. Um, again, like with my portraits, it's always really important for me to get the lighting and everything done well in camera. Um, sure, there's amazing retouchers out there that can totally polish some turds, but like I would prefer to work with some like fun stuff, you know? Uh, all right, so we already did our white balance earlier. I've never had that that wide before, so I'm just gonna go that way. Okay, and I don't know. Our exposure looks pretty darn good. I don't really mess with the contrast tool here. I like to play with the curves. Uh, there's a million other ways to deal with your highlights and shadows, like these ones right here. So what happens if we go up on our highlights or down? I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit. A little bit of a fun poppy look. Shadows, we're gonna dial down some because I really want to bring that navy down. Seeing her uh, her outfit there. <clears throat> the whites are normally not anything I'm gonna mess with. And then the blacks, we can go, I don't know. What do you think? I kinda, just like a hair down. I want to give that a couple of me. beers with Nicole. Wouldn't that be fun? That's totally what I'm doing after this. <laughs> Lauren and I have plans. <laughs> um, no, but they want it as a giveaway. Like someone wins that. Yeah. Well, and then Adobe can buy us beers. What? Yeah. <laughs> I see what I did there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so, like, the clarity tool here, sometimes I use it. I really don't use it on portraits because it really, yeah. unless you're, like, sh I don't know. If you're shooting guys, like, you always kind of want to see a little bit more of that, like, ruggedness yeah. and the details in their face. Um Unfortunately, because of how we're so used to magazines and advertising showing women, we always want to make everything look super beautiful and like wrinkle free. So we're going to maintain that. I'm going to bump up my vibrance just a little bit. Get that hair. Oh, yeah. Get that hair glowing a little bit. What up, girl? You are a sweet baby angel. And it's ice water, too. Yes. It's like the coldest form of water. <laughs> it's cold. I like the coldest form. It's cold as ice, you guys. It's cold ice. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Curves, like I've been doing the last couple of days, I always just do like a tiny little S curve if possible. So that's just like beefing up my highlights of hair, bringing down my shadows of hair. Barely see a difference, but you know, it's all in our, our little eyes. <clears throat> um, sharpening all that I'll do in Photoshop. I will always kick on the uh, lens correction to kind of see what it does. I actually don't really like it. It kind of distorts it outwards a little bit, so we're gonna stay away from that. Do we want to add a vignette? Sure don't, so we're not gonna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So I feel pretty good about, oh, let me drink some water. Yeah. I'm so excited about it, and I just like, held on to it. Okay, Um. let's see, so we're gonna. The, maybe bef Ooh. before and after. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um. <laughs> uh, Where'd it go? Damn it. Hold on, team. It's usually like one of these. Are you in develop or in which mode are you? Before, after. There we go. Left, right. Awesome. There we go. So we've got our before on the left, our after on the right. You can see everything's just a yeah. little bit more high contrast, a little bit more Longer. colorful, mm -hmm. um, a little bit more poppy overall. So that mm -hmm. is uh, exactly where I want to be. Uh, and same lighting setup for oh, these yeah. two. It wasn't, but it looks the same, so I don't know. We're going to synchronize Maybe. it and see what happens, team. Yeah, that uh, that did the job. <clears throat> and then this guy, whatever, we'll sync it to you because we're just we're going to uh, mask that out anyways, I'm sure. Bitchin', so now we shall export and go into Photoshop. Um, Let's see, why? I, nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> like, I don't want any presets. All right, we're not gonna rename it. Um, I always export as a TIFF file. Uh, I just, as much information as I can have to work with is my favorite way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll open up in the finder once it exports. And we'll go into Photoshop. It's gone. Here we go. So we're gonna go through and, whoops. Just gonna open all these bad boys up in Photoshop at once. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all of them, but we'll definitely work through uh, one of these portraits here. And I think, I think we're just gonna work on this. This seems kind of easier. The light's gorgeous and I love the expression on her face. Cause it's precious. 
<laughs> um, so you can already kind of see when we were on set, um, I kept trying to pull Lauren's hair off like of her chest and her neck or whatever, so as not to to deal with um, some of this stuff. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with that today. <laughs> so we're just gonna let it be nice and natural. Um, it's just, I'd rather focus more on like levels and contrast and like some of that fun stuff. Um, so first thing I always do is double down on a layer so I can kind of go through um, and do some nice cleanup here. Um, one of my rules, you know, there's there's so much you can do in Photoshop when it comes to retouching people and faces and skin. Um, it terrifies me sometimes when I see like portraits of people that don't even look like them because they've been <laughs> photoshopped so much. Um, yeah. I think good. people are starting to get a little bit away from that, which is fantastic. But like, if my like subject can recognize themselves in their portrait because I've done too much work on them, then like, I need to find another job. Mm -hmm. um, so my rule has always been, you know, if it's going to be there in three months, you leave it. So whether it's a you know a mole, a scar, whatever. Like I know I have like a couple little chicken pock scars from when I was a kid when I had chicken pox <laughs> and and that and like right that's. Here. Right, yeah, I got one like right. Yeah, that's fantastic. We all do, because we're adults now. Um, so yeah, so it, it's it's all beautiful character stuff. So I think it's really important to to maintain all that. And now my whack on. <laughs> Come on. It's plugged in, right? Sorry, guys. Yeah. Wait a moment, so. I just reinstalled all of my drivers. Um... Technology, making stuff hard. All right, we're gonna just we're gonna open up Wacom and see what's going on. I know it's Wacom, but like Wacom is way more fun to say. Oh, I just want to like dump this on myself. That'd be amazing. Um, okay, oh. and it's. <laughs> That's good. All right. Thank you, Wacom. So we're gonna do this with our little trackpad. <laughs> which... I'll try again, maybe, because it, it yeah. killed everything. Yeah. Did it? Okay. I'd really love to. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> welcome to the party. <laughs> Travis is in the house. Yes. Yeah. Travis uh, will be live with us in about uh, shake it. 22 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Ah, geez. Okay, it's going to take me longer to do that. So, come on. Uh, it's not happening. Thank All right, Lauren, I love you, and I'm sorry that I have to zoom in at 100% on your portrait, but that's how stuff works. So, I'm just going to kind of bop through a little bit. Sandra does some adorable little tinies. Nothing big. I just more or less just want to have like a nice, you know, even sort of skin tone if, uh, if possible, which it totally is, because Lauren's gorgeous. Um, you know, a lot of the times when I photograph women, especially not like 20 year olds, um, they're always just like, oh my God, like Photoshop me, like Photoshop all this stuff. And I'm just like, no, like that's you. Like that's what makes you beautiful and wonderful. So it's like, we all got lines under our eyes. So I'm gonna leave those on Lauren because it adds to her expression. But what I am gonna do is soften them up a little bit. Um, so really, we're just going to eliminate some of those shadows, like, within those lines. Um, where is my business? Magic eyes. Is it the glowing skin? God, or I have, like, clothes. a wrinkle oh. action that I used to use or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Let's try the magic skin tone one and see what happens. Because we're crazy maniacs today. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of, we've already got a mask over this, uh, mm -hmm. this action here. I want to drop this folder. Okay, so it's just kind of balancing out some skin tones and stuff, which, whatever, that works. Oh, I keep picking up that pen, that's not going to work. <laughs> and let us get super soft on our brush. Um, Do you want to try the other work on? I mean, yeah. It would be funny that the other one I'm worked. into it. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a tiny little track pad. Um. So when I'm doing uh, retouching work, especially masks and stuff, I'm always, you know, at the softest brush that I can. And I usually run it like an opacity of 100 at a flow of 10%. So you've got a lot of control over it. Um, you can kind of do it to the max and then totally, you know, roll that back uh, once you get everything dialed in. Oh, I need oh a new God. computer. I know it's totally not my computer, but <gasps> no, don't for, oh. <laughs> don't for a script Photoshop. Okay. Nothing, we're just... No, no. All right. Trackpad is... So, trackpad it is, team. Um, so, let's kind of see what uh, what happens when we start 
evening out skin tones here. So you can notice if I kind of go back and forth. It's so stinking subtle, but like, it's just bringing a little bit of warmth into her skin, which is kind of nice, especially with, you know, the red hair and the different colors we're working with. Um, we're just gonna kind of, and it looks like it's just almost softening, softening it up a little bit, mm -hmm. which I can really appreciate. <clears throat> so we're just gonna go through and do that a little bit all over. Again, I'm kind of overdoing it, and then we're gonna dial that opacity back um, on the overall look of things, so. It's funny, I normally have like a very specific way in which I, I do all of my like people and portrait retouching or whatever. Um, my brain's kind of all over the place today, so <laughs> it's just, it'll be a little bit more messy, if you will. But we're gonna end up with a really beautiful portrait. So I'm gonna just kind of bring this same skin tone stuff down onto the rest of her uh, body, like her arms and her chest. So we have a nice overall mm. tone going on. I feel like she's like a little, red there, so that's gonna help kind of blend that in a little bit. Um, again, like this panel of actions that I have, it's uh, this company called Retouching Academy. <laughs> they have a handful of stuff for beauty retouching, um, portrait work, all that. Actions are just nice, man. I I do so many things and then be like, oh God, like I don't even remember what I just did. How am I gonna recreate that in another portrait? So that's, I love actions for, you know, for that reason, mainly because I can't remember stuff too well, so. <laughs> So we're just gonna dial it up and down. Yeah, we've just got like a little bit of warmth on our skin. I'm gonna, per usual, <clears throat> bring that opacity down to about a 65% or so. Um, and I like that. Another thing I love to do, excuse me, is um, <laughs> jazz this. hands, I don't know. Uh, I've got like a little magic eyes um, action. <clears throat> that is super fun. I think, I think it'll let me do it from that layer. Uh, it's still a Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, so with this, you'll kind of see what uh, what pops up here over in my layers panel, but um, <clears throat> we're really just gonna just bring some beautiful depth um, out of her eyeballs. <laughs> eyeballs, <laughs> I know it sounds <laughs> so beautiful. Um, so let's see, we're on a brush, we're gonna pop over here. Um, so I'm gonna expand this here, you guys can see what these are all telling us to do. <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump onto the darken iris outline and makeup, and I'm gonna go down to a super small little brush, about that size. I really wish I had a pen right now because doing this with my thumb and my forefinger <laughs> isn't like the greatest. But I'm really just gonna run mm. this uh, brush tool along just the outer edge of her iris. Uh, and you'll kind of notice it just darkens up yeah, just yeah, a little yeah. bit there, right? Yeah, so yeah. we'll do it to match on the other eye. Shoop. Uh, and while I'm here, I also like to just drop a little more darkness under a pupil. Sometimes it doesn't read, you know, mm -hmm. this beautiful black. And I'll even bring like a little bit of that onto sort of the line, the edge of her uh, eyelashes there, just to kind of right. make everything pop a little bit. Again, we're gonna dial that opacity back some. Eh, let's go about 75. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we can add a little bit of light into the iris. Uh, this can be very quickly and easily overdone. Mm. So again, I think it's always about like getting it on there kind of heavy and then dialing back mm. that opacity. Nice. Um, so, ooh, Dreamtown USA. All right, so that I'm gonna leave it about like a 40% opacity. I don't think we need to go any more than that. Then it's gonna really start to look fake and creepy and Lauren is not fake or creepy. So you're welcome, babe. Um, and then let's see if we can just add like a little bit more color in there too. A little bit blue, mm, baby blues. Again. Adding color onto irises can definitely start to look real weird and fake, but if you dial that shit back, it looks nice. There, oh my hmm. god, see? Yeah. Doesn't that help? And if you kind of go back to like a global view of the portrait, get over here, why aren't you centering yourself? <laughs> smash, smash, <laughs> smash. Um, and then we'll just toggle that whole situation. You can see just a little oh, yeah. bit, right? I don't know, I think that makes a gorgeous, a gorgeous difference there. Um, what do we want to do next? I love dodging and burning. So we're gonna pop into that world. Um, again, I have another layer. This is literally just a folder with, uh, what do we got? Two 50% fill layers with masks on them. Um, what is it? Soft light. You know, the standard. <laughs> <laughs> again, if you guys have any questions, please like email me, message me, whatever. I'm more than happy to, uh, to share this information with y'all. Um, so we're gonna go on to our dodge, or sorry, our burn panel. 
Um, bust up our brush on a black. I like to go about 20% opacity, 20% flow. Um, it's just, yeah, the more minimal you can keep it, the, the better it is. All right, we got about 10 minutes left. We're yeah. killing it, guys. And here I'm just gonna kind of play with her hair a little bit. I'm just gonna bring out some, hmm. you know, kind of, I like to just kind of paint in the shadows that are already there. Hmm. And then you'll watch, I'll go and kind of do the same with the highlights, but paint the highlights in um, as well. Just kind of, I don't know, just kind of, everything's just gonna really help sort of frame up her face. We're gonna like hit those eyebrows a little bit. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I like to just add a little bit of shadow right here at like the top okay. outer lid. I don't know, it just, uh, I get personal, you know, stuff just mm -hmm. it works. Um, I just kind of go through her face, I'm gonna shade in her cheekbones just a hair, just to kind of bring in a little bit more structure there. Mm -hmm. A little bit under the chin. Oh, it's fun. Under her chin, you can actually see kind of where you're bouncing that light up. There's like that nice thin line of highlights right there, which is really beautiful. A little more on her chest. Uh, and then, always love skin arms and really bringing out those edge light highlights because that is my favorite and we'll just get a nice overall and <clears throat> darken to her outfit there nice and one. Oh my God. i just want to use my little tools yeah. over here but i don't get to i'm just gonna give a nice yeah line right there all right dudes now we're gonna swap over to our dodging tool and literally doing the same thing, just the opposite. Uh, we're gonna hit some of those little highlights on her nose. I always like to, on ladies, there's something about just like giving a nice little highlight right around the corner of the eye, kind of going up into the eyelid there. Hmm. Um, I don't know, it just kind of just brightens things up a little. <laughs> just the tiniest little differences. A little light up here. Um, where else? Ooh, you know, it'd be nice. Like right on like the bow of her little lip right there. We'll throw in a nice. highlight, a little bit on the lips there. Um, seeing like a little chin action. We can maybe brighten up some. Ooh, and let's get those bangs yeah. banging. Nice. Some of that. A little hair. I'm gonna jump my opacity up to 40 just so I can go a little bit faster on the hair here. And yeah, I'm just kind of hitting all the natural highlights that are already there. It's, I don't know, to me, I really enjoy taking sort of all the skills I learned in the dark room and trying to apply them within Photoshop or whatever. Um, I, I prefer to consider myself a photographer and not like a photo illustrator, which I think, I mean, even like from what we were doing yesterday, like with the still life yeah. bottles, you know, I'm like sitting there like cutting stuff out and like repeating it and making more of a graphic design type thing. like. Hmm. That's a photo illustration. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like this, I'd rather keep like on the portrait tip or whatever. So I'm gonna go bring some highlights back into her arms because we were missing a little light there from the back. And seven minutes. Um, are there any questions? I don't know. Everybody's just being pretty, no, pretty chill. To, I appreciate it. To know about it. your Twitter account to follow you, but there is a link in the chat. Right? Oh, okay, perfect. Um, I do way more on like Instagram and Tumblr. Um, Twitter is a little bit political, so I apologize for that ahead of time. Actually, I don't <laughs> apologize at all. Um, <laughs> like, I take that back. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of my work and my behind the scenes stuff, definitely Instagram or Tumblr. Um, oh, all right, so if we want to see kind of an overall difference with mm. both the combo dodge and burn. Yeah. You guys kind of see, I don't know, everything just kind of mm, yeah. just got a little bit tighter and nicer and stuff. So we will finish up. I'll kind of show you how I sharpen my portraits. Um, yeah. Again, I've got an action for it. It is, it's literally, I think, just a high pass filter situation. Uh, um, but again, I'm lazy and I prefer machines to work for me. So it sharpened the whole image. We're gonna go on, throw that mask over it so we can uh, paint in our own sharpness. Um, and I'm gonna ride that brush at about like an 80-40 split and then we'll dial that opacity down. It almost sounded like a bowling term of sort, like an 80-40 split, is that, right. Right. <laughs> is that a thing? Um, so for me, like sharpening portraits, main thing, it's, it's the eyes. Like you want them to just be glorious and just as sharp as possible. So I'm always hitting those like as hard as I can. And then I'll dial my opacity on the brush down a little bit to kind of go after, say, the lips. A little sharpness there, maybe like the, the top of the nose, because that's kind of all fallen on the same plane. Um, 
Oh, look at Travis putting up a color backdrop. <laughs> Crazy town. <laughs> oh, man. And then, yeah, then we're just going to, you know, sharpen up a little bit of that gorgeous hair that Lauren's got flowing around her face. Um, As you're writing some sharpening, we'll do a giveaway. So we give oh, you a quick description. Oh, fabulous. I love it. When? Mm, yeah. Mm, Make yeah. it less stocky. Oh my god, that's easily my new favorite thing. Um, and then so I, I've really focused on what I'm sharpening on her face and everything to kind of get the maximum effect that I want. Um, and then what I'm going to do on the mask layer is just go ahead and give it like a just a very gentle like 20% uh, white fill. Nice. Just for kind of an overall gentle sharpening on the rest of it. So we're not like mm. totally forgetting about oh, all the cuteness. Um, so yeah, so for the giveaway, we're gonna boom. give away a credit card subscription. I know, I'm like, I'll stop talking for a second. Uh, I just want you uh, to to say uh, thank you to Nicole in the chat. So the keyword is Nicole. Okay, so you have to type a sentence, but put Nicole two L. Yeah, two L's. Two L's. Two L's. Yeah. No H. Because this is the last day. <laughs> it is my last day. Screen. It's been really fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Though. You guys too. I was talking to them, but right. <laughs> right. you oh, guys yeah. are pretty spectacular are okay. as well. Thank you. <laughs> um. I don't see the fun in it. <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> Does it, is it like motion X? No, it's not finished. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the glass. Oh. Which is great because you kind of just want to slap it a little bit. Um, man. Good picture, huh? Yeah, I'm, man. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, if this were... Yeah. Just gotta find the oh my like god, you're so cute. Shut up. Oh, now, if this were like going to print or anything like that, I'd throw on, and I mean, whatever, we've got four minutes. I'll just do it while I'm at it. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna merge all those layers or stamp them down and uh, bust into the camera raw filter. Um, just to add a little bit of grain. It always seems to make uh, photos and print look just a little bit, uh, I don't know just a little bit better. Uh -huh. To me, it's just like this sort of extra polish you kind of can put on an image. They put some boop in the chat for you. Did you? Oh, thanks, you mm -hmm. guys. I'll never forget. <laughs> um, And yeah, we're just going to go kind of minimal on the grain, but enough to just kind of give it a little bit more texture throughout that photo. Um, And then let's see what happens if we dehaze it at all. Yeah, so dehaze, it's, just, it's kind of interesting how that works, but... yeah, it's. If I don't know, again, it's, it's all what you, it's all what you yeah. want to see, man. Like we're all making it's photos quite good for on us. Portraits. I was surprised, like the has. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something I prefer the has to clarity. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I concur for sure. So yeah, I mean, again, not a big difference, but I love it. And that's Lauren, our favorite girl yeah. in the whole wide world. <laughs> Let's just look at her. <laughs> oh, I love her. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I guess that's you know kind of a. A pared down sort of studio version of what most of my studio portraits are and how I do my thing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please it hit me awesome. up if you have any questions. Um, I've had so many people in my life teach me all the things that I know um, to make me who I am today. So if I can ever pass that on to others, I would love to. Yeah. So, yay. Well, congratulations, yeah. Herr Mulruff. Make Herr sure to Mulruff. leave your Twitter handle in the chat. Yeah, good job. You got credit for it. You're yes. the winner. That was so much and fun. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> Hi, bye. You awesome. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what does he have to say? It's Not tough. a damn thing. <laughs> oh, Just <laughs> trust me. I'm an artist. Shut up. Oh my God, can we have a bonfire? <laughs> like, throw it in there. Just kidding. I love art directors. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so stay tuned because we will be with uh, Travis and uh, some new guests <laughs> for the next stream. It will be in five minutes on adobelive.com. Okay, thank you. Cool. Nicole. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.